They first popped up on the boards at the rink and then moved right onto the ice. And now ads are invading new spaces at professional hockey games. And as Teresa Lalonde reports, fans have plenty to say about it. They're seen only by folks at home. Virtual ads on the safety glass, added by a computer. Hockey blogs and discussion groups are full of comments, hating the distraction. Street reaction is more of a mix. I think there's way too much advertisement as it is. I can't stand advertisement and to have it in, in your face like that. Virtual stuff is just fine. You can just ignore it. With viewers flipping channels during commercial breaks or recording the games on their PVRs, marketers are trying to get their messages inside the game. It's a big difference from the early days of hockey on TV in the 1960s all the way to the 80s. No ads on the boards. Then the 90s. And then today. This sports marketer says more ads are on the way. I think the trend is going that way and I think it's just going to become more and more uh, uh, prevalent in the, in the game. Nakagawa says people will get used to seeing the ads, not just on the glass, but on the athlete. If you look at the average uh, NASCAR athlete, they have logos all over their bodies and their fans don't seem to mind. The Detroit Red Wings recently sold space on their practice jersey to Amway. European teams have been selling space for years. Ads on the uniform are where many draw the line. NHL hockey, not so much. I mean, it's more classic, more sort of the traditional look. You got the logo, you got the team name, and that was it. You know what, there has to be a line, certainly. I think, you know, I think about my kids and how much they get marketed to. Probably Amway is too much. Whether jerseys get cluttered up or not, we know rinks will never look this clean ever again. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, Vancouver.